today I'm here with a review of the Bourjois Lip Crayons. Their proper name is the Bourjois Paris Color Boost Glossy Finish Lipstick. Um, packaging wise, here is packaging. Oh, I hate that they have these big dirty old stickers which is where the name is. So the name is going to be here. The packaging itself looks like this. And as you can see, it is a twist up lip crayon style product. So I actually don't own any of these. I actually lie. I have one of the Revlon Kissable Bam stains, I think they're called. Um, I really wasn't gone on it. The smell really put me off. So I was intrigued to try these. These are very popular at the moment. And I have three of the colours which I'm going to review for you today. Um, basically, it's a glossy finish lipstick. Now, I wouldn't say it's glossy. I'd say it's more shiny. Is that the same thing? They're not... Um, they're not sticky like a lip gloss. They're very non-sticky actually. They're very, very smooth on the lip. They glide on very easily. They claim to last for 10 hours, 10 hours of comfort and hydration. I don't agree with that. I never do agree with those time claims. I think you'll be applying this throughout the day, which I have no problem with doing anyway because I'm a lip fanatic. This also has SPF 15 in it and that's why I think they were so hyped because these came out about a month or two ago so they were great summer products but they're actually after launching two brand new colours which I don't think people know about and one of the new colours I mentioned in my September favourites is this colour here which is Plum Russian. I just want to point out on the website this is called Prune so I'm not sure why they have different names but on the label this is called Plum Russian. Basically I'm going to get straight into it. The first one I have here is one of the most famous ones or most popular ones. This is 04 peach on the beach and it is a gorgeous oh it's turning out very dark there I hope this turns out true to colour it is basically um, a kind of a light coral colour so I'm going to apply that for you now okay so there is one sheer application so you can go very natural with these but they are definitely buildable so I'm going to apply it on full whack now Okay, so there it is on full, full whack, basically. I hope you can see the sheer, not the sheerness, the shininess. Super, super soft in lips, as I said, really non-sticky and they give just a beautiful glow. As I also mentioned, they are, they can be used, they're quite a sheer product, but at the same time you can see the colour. So it's a, it's a best of both words, really. This colour is really, really gorgeous, very well suited for the summer and very, very popular this colour is. Okay, so the next one I'm going to try on for you is a kind of raspberry colour. This is called Fuchsia Libra. There's the name of it there. So this is, as I said, a kind of a raspberry colour. There it is there. I actually might do swatches on my hand so you can see, just so I can refer back to the colours that I've showed you. So this is Peach on the Beach. You can kind of see the glossiness of it there. And this one is Fuchsia Libra. It's a gorgeous kind of blue-toned raspberry pink. Um, very well suited for a lot of skin tones. So I'll apply that one. So, <coughs> excuse me. So there is one sheer coat, and I'll apply a little bit more. And there is that one on full whack. I think this colour is really well suited to people with my kind of colouring, kind of pale skin and darker features, dark hair, blue eyes maybe. Um, really, really gorgeous um, colour. This one now more so, more so than Peach on the Beach. This one seems to leave a little bit more of a stain. This one being the lightest colour would be best for those um, not too adventurous with colour. If you want to stay on your nudie kind of colours, this is the one to go for. If you want to go a little bit more daring, but not fully out there, this is very good and it leaves um, a, a little bit of a stain. They don't claim to really leave stain, but this one tends to. So when the glass wears off, you're, you're left with a little bit of this colour also. Okay, and the last one that I have is one of the newest colours that just came out last month, or in the last few weeks. This is 06 Plum Russian, and I, as I said, I included this in my September favourites. It's an absolutely beautiful plum kind of colour. Um, ideal for autumn. It's just gorgeous. It's not too far off. It's kind of like a darker version of the one of Future Libra, with more of a purple tone. So there is um, Plum Russian. So I'll apply that now. Oh, 
Okay, and there is one coat. As you can see, they're really, really easy to apply. You don't have to be too precise because they kind of melts into your lips anyway. Um, I'm going to apply a little bit more of this. Okay, and there is Plum Russian on the lips. As you can see, it's really, I think with this one more so, you can see really the glassiness. Again, super smooth, such a beautiful colour for the autumn. And I mentioned in my September favourites, if you're wanting to delve into the world of darker colours, I'd highly, highly recommend this one because it applies so easily and it's just very soft in the lips. Lipsticks, and especially matte lipsticks, can be a bit scary to work with, but this is just kind of a subtle, dark colour. So I really, really love this. Um, I think that's about it to say for the whole line. There is... One, two, three, four. There's six colours all together. There's also an orange colour and there's also two kind of red colours. So I'm very tempted to pick up the other new shade of the red. Um, I'll see how it goes. Um, keep an eye out in boots. There's three for two offers on or buy one get one half price on a lot of the time. These are priced at €10.99 and I, th I think they're very well worth it. Really, really love these. Hi, so I'm here from the future. I have dyed my hair, I'm in the future. Never mind, you know what I mean, a couple of videos. But I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have since bought the newest colour, the red colour that I was talking about. This is the colour 05 Red Island, and this is the newer red. As far as I could tell from the two, the other red um, was more of an orange red. This is more of a pinkish red, even though it looks very brick red there. So there it is there. Um, I'll give you a swatch here. Again, really glossy and gorgeous. So there it is there, and I'll quickly apply it. So there is one coat, and I will apply a few more now. Okay, so there it is on the lips. It looks pretty much just red. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to have too much of a hint of pink. Of pink. It looks more pinky on the skin, but on the lips it looks just kind of like a true reddish kind of colour. So I just wanted to show that in, throw this in here so you could see the new um, colour. I'll actually just quickly wind it up the full way so you can see how much product you get. This is always a scary thing to do in case it ever falls off. Okay, so there you go. There is the amount of product that you get. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I really, really love them. The finish, they're just a very unique product. I don't have anything else like it in my in my lip collection, apart from one of the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. They are more of a stain though, these are more of a glossy lipstick and they don't have a horrible smell like the Revlon ones do. So that is it, that's my review of the Bourjois Colour Boost Lip Crayons. Let me know if you've tried these and tell me your favourite below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!